Perhaps you just purchased a 4K Blu-ray player, or perhaps you already own a Blu-ray player for the past three, four, five years. Uh, I always see this setting uh, have always been missing from the setup. Without doing this, sometimes you may even not realize that you don't even have Dolby Atmos or DTS-X. So what you have to do is you go to the audio setup of your 4K Blu-ray player or even your regular Blu-ray player. Check for the digital audio output or bitstream audio output, right? And you see that Dolby Audio, turn on bitstream. And this is the most important part, VD Video Secondary Audio. So out of the box, Dolby Audio and DTS Audio have been set to bitstream. However, the VD Video Secondary Audio on most, if not all players, usually it defaults to auto or on. Now, unless you set the BD Video Secondary Audio to off, right? Not auto, not on, but off. Sometimes you cannot access the Dolby Atmos or DTS-X soundtrack. And if you have a Dolby Atmos or DTS-X sound system, well, why don't you use it, right? This is valid not only on Panasonic Blu-ray player only, but it's also for Sony, LG, anything. Right, so you go to the player setting, you go to the audio setting, set the Dolby Audio or DTS HD on Bitstream and BD Video Secondary Audio to off. If you find this video to be useful, please put your comments down below and click like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to click the notification button so every time there's a new video, you can be notified. Thank you very much and goodbye. David Susilo, signing off.